So yesterday I talked about a weird audio issue and I explained what happened and then I promised to show you how to fix it and then I forgot to do that. So today I'm back to show you two ways to fix that particular issue. What's happening podcasters? This is episode 94 of 1000 Podcasters and I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcaster and a podcast editor and I want to see you be successful with your podcast. If you'd like to get this show delivered directly to your favorite podcast app, visit toptieraudio.com slash subscribe. You'll find three big buttons right there, one for Apple, one for Google, one for Spotify, as well as a few smaller buttons for some of the other apps. Just choose the app that you prefer and subscribe right there. That way you can get this delivered directly to your favorite podcast app. That's toptieraudio.com slash subscribe. This is a follow-up episode to yesterday. I'm in a bit of a hurry because I have some editing that I need to get done, but I wanted to get this out because I kind of dropped the ball yesterday. I promised to give you the fix for the issue that I described, and I didn't do that. So I'm going to cover that today because I want to make sure that I don't miss that. So I'm here to show you what was caused by recording or show you how to fix what was caused by recording a stereo output into a balanced mono input. Again, no slides or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and display my desktop. This is the file that we were working with yesterday. And if you didn't check that episode out, you'll find it at toptieraudio.com slash 93. You might want to check that one out or the companion video for that to, to get it as well. This also is going to have a video component. So if you remember correctly, we took a signal and using the Sheps Omni Channel, we mimicked what happened with that uh, plug-in issue by inverting one of the channels. So we inverted the right channel. I exported that. And when I was done, when we mixed it down to a mono sum, what we ended up with was nothing. Okay, so that's what happened, but how to fix it. So we've got a, a stereo track, essentially, that has one track inverted. So I went ahead and I exported a version of that particular file in stereo. And I'll open this in a different editor just so that you can see that it's going to have two tracks that look a lot the same. The only difference is if you get in really close, you'll see that the ups and downs are backwards. So this little up right here on the other track is down. So that's where the stereo summing of zero comes in. So I'm going to take that particular file. I'm going to drop it back in Hindenburg so that we can see what we have. And if we were looking at this in a standard waveform editor, either in Hindenburg or some other program, we would see that it looks like everything is there. And we would wonder, okay, why can't people hear anything? So we've got this track and I'll just, I'll just play a little bit of it. If you're listening on a single speaker, you might hear a bit of silence. So I just want to hear what it sounds like because it does sound a little bit weird. It's going to sound kind of like it's coming primarily from one side or the other. So this is just a small sample. Okay, so that's what we have. So two ways to fix it. And I'll go ahead and export and then show you what we can do. So the first one is knowing what we know about this, we can use something to invert one of those channels. So I'm going to reopen the Sheps Omni channel. And what I'm going to do is invert the right channel. It doesn't really matter that much which one we invert. We just need to invert one so that we're not missing that signal. And I'll go ahead and hit play. Which wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck... So if you're listening in headphones, it should sound like that came dead center because we inverted that. When I export that as a mono file, I'm going to name that mono2, and I'm going to export it as a mono file. When I bring that back in, we will see that we have exactly the signal we expected. Okay, so that's one way that we can do it. The other way, let me see if I can delete that. There we go. The other way that we could approach it, if we didn't want to invert one channel, is we could split that stereo track into two tracks and then just delete one. Most audio editors are going to have that capability. Hindenburg certainly does. It's got a tool up here called Split Stereo. It will split that into two tracks, and then we would just, whoops, just delete one of those. We have a single mono track. We are good to go. I believe Logic can do this. Most editors... Most nonlinear editors, DAWs, can do this kind of thing. I know that GarageBand historically was a bit of a challenge for me, but they may have updated that because I haven't used it in quite some time. But those are the two fixes for you. One would be to invert one of the channels so you have two of the same. The other one is to split the stereo 
and then go ahead and delete one of those tracks. And then when you play it back, you'll have just that one track so that everybody will be able to hear that. When I come back next, I'm planning to cover a question that came in from Stephen, who hosts the Hollywood and Beyond podcast. You can find his show at hollywoodandbeyond.com. Great show. I was able to talk to him a couple of months about that, a couple of months ago about that show. He's got some good stuff going on there. We'll talk more about his show when I share that. If you'd like to connect with me or subscribe to this show, toptieraudio.com is the place for that. That's also where, if you're interested in seeing a particular topic covered, you can suggest that topic. You can send in an audio question. You can subscribe to this show. You can talk to me about editing your show or perhaps set up a consultation. All of that is at toptieraudio.com. The notes for this particular episode are at toptieraudio.com slash 94. If you're listening in your podcast app and you want to find the video, that's where you're going to find the video linked up. If you're watching the video and you want to take it to go, toptieraudio.com slash 94 is the place for all of that. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Now go out there and make a great podcast.